time off turn two. Kyle Busch slides. He hits the wall. Keselowski gets into the back end and retakes the lead. And then Bush is right back up. He turns Keselowski. He's in the wall. Brad Keselowski gets collected by Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch will win the Food City 250 tonight. With the Bristol Sweep under our belt, the wedding's now only four months away, so I need to get back to Chicago and start making some decisions. Hi! Susan the Wedding Planner is great. I knew right away I would like her because Susan's really feisty and she doesn't take no for an answer. She goes all out for it. The theme is Old World Glamour. We're going to start here at the Cultural Center. I know you've only seen it once, only for a few minutes. So we're going to get a better look at it now that we have it officially. Yay! Yay. Right. Normally, the Chicago Cultural Center is closed on New Year's Eve. So we had to go through some red tape to make sure it was open for this big affair. And we're going to walk the space, then go eat, do invitations, talk about the rest of the planning, and then ultimately get to the design. Yay. I had envisioned, like I said, this kind of vintage glam wedding. And when you walk into the Chicago Cultural Center, it was actually the original public library. And it has these huge Tiffany domes, and it's very old, and it has lots of details and characters. It's got like these cool rosettes up in the ceiling, and it's got mosaic, and there's just a lot of character to the building. Oh, could we get bartenders to do the flair and everything, too? You know, and make it like lively? Like what? You know, like where they flip the bottles, and Absolutely. then there's fires. Now that we have the venues, it's time to design our invites. What I had pictured to start with is a champagne square done on a paper with a border on the top and the left hand side in a suede or a leather or some sort of fabric and the paper would almost sit on top of the suede so it almost gave it a layered effect. I guess that's what I had envisioned but I'm open to anything. Okay, that's um, interesting. <laughs> I go with the flow to an extent. Like I know what I want. Sometimes it takes me a while to get there. I think what I'm picturing more so than this is a solid border and then taking this laser cutting mm -hmm. and bringing it from the same color onto the paper. You just confused the rest of us. <laughs> I know. So you want to cut these two sides off, correct? Yeah. This right, would be so suede or leather. That's your backer. This, and then it would right be scalpy like this, and this is the actual invite. Yeah. But Words. the cutting is on this portion. What cutting? Do you want to keep going with the lines of this pattern here? What pattern? Huh? No, I don't want any lines. I want it all to be suede laser. Right. But you know what I mean. Like right, but laser cut out. Laser so cut you out. you see the suede through this laser cut? No. Maybe you need a man's advice on this one. No. Just for like, the one thing I want is on those, I want it to be a box that you've opened. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And we'll yeah, grab some of that behind you. Hey, Cookie Monster. Keep going. Tell us okay. more about what you're thinking. So kind of like... It's an open. Yeah. Gatefold. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. But bigger. But bigger. A huge box. And there's these... What? what? That's an invitation? Yeah. It's, it's a Bible. Something people will save forever. Anyways. So, oh. anyways, it's this rosette from the Chicago Cultural Center. They're mm -hmm. on the ceilings. Mm -hmm. And I want the flower so, on there. Mm -hmm. like, oh, and then I want it to go. I want it to mm -hmm. match one of the rosettes at the Cultural I'm Center. Is it possible to make more <laughs> than what the place <laughs> rental is going to be? Okay. Yeah. I would agree that she could be a little challenging at times. And then it'll open up. You know, she's I mean, elaborate. Is there anything on the side here? Pockets or? You did this. Yeah. What? Well, this one, this oh, it's kind of. Never mind. You did. I think this. this, this. Don't look at me. What are you looking at me for? Don't talk him out of anything. I'm, I'm that. Just eat cookies. Stop going crazy. I'm not going crazy, but it's our invitations. They you have to look nice. Cookie, nice. They don't have to be a hundred dollars a piece. Yes, they do. They have to be beautiful. No. People will want to come to the wedding if the invitations are pretty. <laughs> That's not even funny. So just okay, guys. It's like the start of the wedding. If you have ugly invitations, nobody's gonna want to come to your wedding. Okay. 
Really? Do I get an invitation? <laughs> no, you don't get an invitation because it costs $100. You're not allowed to have one. Good, I don't want one. I'm not paying for it. If I don't yeah. get an invitation, I don't have to go. Different titles, you know, accommodation, maybe party, yeah, whatever. Kyle said, racing's all about me, so this wedding can be whatever vision you have. I don't know whether it's cheaper to be racing or cheaper to have a wedding, but it's a good thing a wedding's only once. We're going to taste each of the different foods to try to pick out what we're going to actually serve at our wedding. Long time to see. Yeah, right? <laughs> the kind of food we're looking for is going to have like a really pretty presentation. We want good, normal food. I don't like when you go to restaurants or different places and you have no idea what they're serving you. Like you get the plant. Like, what is that? There's cream cheese. That oh. One has pistachio. This one has sesame yeah. seed. Oh, wow. The only food I really care about for the reception is the late night snack with the macaroni and cheese. And I want it out of the box. What if we did a mac and cheese station late night? Late night mac and cheese station. Because Kyle loves literally the craft blue box mac and cheese. Kyle loves macaroni and cheese, and he was insistent on it being part of the wedding. The mac and cheese is going to be the hit because anytime that you're late night and you're kind of hungover, that's what you're going to be looking for. It's going to depend on how many people come. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did increase the guest list, didn't we? Increase? Yeah. 20 people, right? Ish. Nobody glare at me or yell at me. I've added a few people to the guest list, but Susan can handle it. Aren't you maxed at We're some gonna number? We're going to sell standing room only. No, yeah, we are maxed at a certain number. We sent out about 350 invites, and we were hoping that a few of them weren't going to show up, but there's still going to be quite a few people there, about 300. Our families aren't going to eat. They're just going to stand. I don't have family. I have people. <laughs> They're not eating. No, I'm kidding. Susan found an amazing cake lady who I know can make a badass wedding cake. All of the layers are shaped after the ring with like the kind of four leaf clover shape. That's what that all is. The cake is amazing. It's like five and a half feet and there's all these different like stands that are made out of sugar or feathers. It's crazy. It's kind of I like- I want feathers in my cake. It's just a stand. It looks really good. Samantha is extremely busy and planning a wedding with her is different because we only got to see her a handful of times. She's flying all over the world enjoying her busy life in the fast lane. So I had to be her eyes and ears on the ground in Chicago. We communicated via text, conference call, email. She had to trust me a lot. So I, I hope she likes what she sees. Okay guys, are you ready? Ready. We are now at Heffin and Morgan and we are gonna meet with Erin McDonald who's worked very hard on this. So we're about to see a mini mock-up of your wedding. There is custom everything. We have vendors flying things in from all over the country. We have multiple different chair types, linen types, everything's custom order. From the die cut table numbers and the gold stands to the feathers in the centerpieces to the five different rental orders we have. And we even have custom chargers and plates and vessels for the candies. The custom round dance floor hovered in a marbleized vinyl wrap. You've never seen anything like it. Oh my God, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you love it? I love it. We were there and she goes, what do you think of that? And I'm like, it looks like She goes, okay, well, I like it, so we're going with it. You know, when you're a little girl and you're thinking about your dream wedding and everything, boys don't do that. So I feel like when it comes to the actual wedding, the boys shouldn't really have a say in the flowers and all that. That's, that's not their area. It's beautiful. I love the feathers. I love it. And I, I'm doing a lot with feathers and everything, which he thinks is a little weird. This wedding is all about Samantha. Yes, Kyle's a big part of it, but this is Sam's big day. I don't like lampshades. I don't know if I love the white top. It's a little too soft. I don't like the sequence. There's things I like and there's things I don't like. I want it to be a wedding that people walk away from and they're like, oh my gosh, this was amazing and this was so great. I don't want just one wow factor. I want the whole night to be a wow factor. Sam lives in a big way. For being a small girl, Samantha <laughs> lives very large. I would expect nothing less of her wedding than to be the most spectacular thing that everyone will be talking about. My mom especially has helped me with this wedding so much. Samantha is a bride that pays meticulous attention to detail. She has everything on a schedule and she has taken care of every aspect of the wedding. Yay! <laughs> we clap when we like something. When you clap like this, it means something's good. That's what my mom and I have always done when we're excited. So if it gets to this, it's done, it's good, and move on. Well, she goes down to 48. I wouldn't beat it back. Bump 
paper off if they would have let me go about 40 laps ago, ass. Stop flipping me off and just drag, you little bitch. Kyle Bush has stopped the bottom of the racetrack. He pulls away. He takes the spot from Jimmy Johnson. Checkered flag, and it's Kyle Bush and Jimmy Johnson, the top five. Now it's time to come home to Charlotte for some wedding planning. Hi, Michael. It's Samantha. The thing I'm most nervous about right now is I had this crazy idea to get my wedding dress designed in Dubai by um, a designer named Michael Cinco. Yeah, I was just calling to see if we could talk a little bit more about like the dress design and you know, kind of just some of the elements and whatnot to put on it. She like one design that has a lot of details and feathers in it. And then I'm still debating between either a really like an A-line, a mermaid, or like more of a Cinderella. I did something with the crystal work on the top, very tight fitting, and she really loved a fairy tale look of a bride. Michael's making two wedding dresses for me, a long formal one for the ceremony at the beginning of the reception, and then a short one so I can dance the night away. We started doing sketches and sending fabric samples. We picked out every aspect of this dress, except every time we talk, he's like, oh, I like this, but I decided to do this, or I changed this. I make it look impalpable and uh, very fabulous. I'm just really nervous because, I don't know, I picture what it's gonna be, and I'm afraid I'm gonna see it and just be like, oh my gosh, it's not anything that I thought. And then what do you do? I hope she likes it. Okay, has to be perfect because I don't have a plan B. <laughs> I'm not letting you pick out a tux for yourself. Oh yeah, we are. It's ready. 